Hello everybody. Good morning. Today is Monday, beginning of a new week and on Mondays uh, we just go about seeing the English lessons, right? Okay, that's great. So today also we are going to look, look some English lessons and uh, in the series of revision last week, in the last video we saw about s -a -t -a -p -n. And also the words related to it. Hope you all would have had uh, found it easy to praise and write the words. Yes, okay. Slowly learn them. Keep blending them. You'll be able to blend and read them easily. So today we are going to revise k, okay, k series, the next set. And then we'll go about seeing the words. Okay. Are you all ready? Now we'll go ahead and revise the sounds of these letters. Are you all ready? Okay, what is this? I'll tell first, you repeat and then we'll tell it together. K. K. This is also K. 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 Then A. 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 H. H. Or er. You can either say er or er. Mm. D. D. Okay. So, we'll now just revise it once. K. Where did we see the sound? K. Cake. Yeah. Cup. Cat. Camel. Then? K. Kick. When I say kick, what do you call Kick. Kiwi, kite, okay, fine. A, a as in engine, enter, egg, exit, exit. Exit means going out. A. Then you are ha, as in hen, ham, hammer, sutil, hammer, okay, okay. Then er or r, rat, road. Raspberries, ring, ribbon. Okay. Then, mm. where did we see mm. milk, milkshake, mango, mother, mummy. Okay. D. Then we saw the dog. D as a dog. Then, dolphin, drum. Okay. Fine. Are you, are you all clear? Okay, now you will be able to, you know the sounds and you will be able to tell the sounds once you, once you see this letter, right? Okay, now today we are going to see three letter words using these words, these letters, the sounds. We are going to blend and read them. Are you all ready? Shall we start? Okay. What is this? K, E, D, Kid. K I D Kid Kid K I D Tell along K I D Kid K I D K I D Kid Kids are babies. You all are called kids, right? Not the small babies, but like some toddlers, grown up babies are called as kids. Okay, kids. Where we can say kids love to eat chocolates. Right? Grown up babies, a bit grown up babies, toddlers, they are called as kids and kids love to eat chocolates. Kids. Kid. Repeat it. Kid. Kid. Okay? Then we'll go to the next word. H. A. N. Ham. H A M Ham H A M Repeat it H A M Ham H A M Ham Is it clear? Kek is angle ke? Ham Ham is nothing but a piece of meat You would all would have heard Hamburgers, right? Hamburgers or ham Yes, Adila ham Ham is a piece of meat that is used for cooking 
for used in dishes. Chiriya, ham. Ham, ham. Um, say you can use it in sentence like he likes to eat hamburgers. He likes to eat hamburgers. Ham, ham, ham. Clear? Fine. Now we'll go to the next word. Eat, eat, kit, eat, kit. Repeat it. Eat, kit, eat, kit, eat, kit. Kit is nothing but a collection of few things or something that you need. Say for example, um, we, the common thing that we know is a first aid kit. First aid kit le kit le The things that you require for uh, doing some first aid help le cotton. You will have some cottons, creams, bandages, detol. So on the mari on the kit le kit is a Collection of supplies, that is a requirement, that is a requirement, it will be in a single box or in a bag or in a pouch, it is called as a kit. Kit, kit. What do we say? Just an example, current type of what we say is Corona kit. Corona kit has, you have the gloves, the, 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 the mask, sometimes you have the shield, the head cap, right, the hand gloves and they do also have a dress. They call it as a PPE kit. A kit as a, they also have a dress and a special shoes also. Shoes or chappal, something like that. For them to go and help these corona patients or something like that. Okay. So it's kit. Uh, what we can say, we also have a first aid kit in our school. First aid kit. Kit. We'll go, go to the next word. Er, or you can say r, r, e, m, rim, r, e, m, rim. Repeat it. R, im, r, im, rim, r, im, rim. Rim is nothing but the edge of a edge of any object. Round or cram the object or edge and the manner. It is called as a rim. For best example, it could be a glass, a tumbler. A glass or a tumbler where you pour water, drink your juice or milk or water. And the edge you can see, we can see that it is called as a rim. It is called as a rim. Okay? Rim. Uh, usually, what, how we will say, we are not supposed to fill water until the rim of a glass. Yes, Miss Juno has taught you in the activity, right? Rim, the edge. Okay? Rim, rim. Now we'll move on to the next word. K -a -p cap. K -a -p cap. K -a -p cap. Cap. Cap is the one you all know. We all wear caps, right? When we go outside, we all wear caps during the summertime. In order to protect us from the heat, we wear caps on our heads. Yes? Cap. Cap. Now we'll move on to the next two words. H -e -n, hen. H -e -n, hen. H -e -n, hen. Clear? Clear up the English? H -e -n. Hen. Hen, you all know, right? Have you seen hen playing with its chicks on the barn, outside the barn, even in your neighborhood you will be able to see, right? Hen playing with its chicks. Okay. We will move on to the next word. T -e -n. T -e -n. Ten. T -n. T -n. Ten. Ten is number ten. 10 is number 10. I have 10 chocolates with me. I love to eat 10 chocolates. Okay? 10. 10. 10. Next word. 
r e d red r e d red r e d red r e d red clear red i have a red gown color red you all know the color red yes i have a red gown go boys can say i have a red car car oh that's great okay red car red shirt oh that's nice then we'll move on to the next word m mm, a p map m mm, a p m mm, a p map map m a p map what is a map a map shows you the places illa ya you have seen the map in the you would have seen the picture is here dora dora so i was supposed to tell it dora has a map in her bag right dora always uses the map to find the places wherever she wants to go she gets the help of a map 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 okay map we we'll move on to the next one a and a and end a and end 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 na na salam getting over end means it gets over so this is the end of the story this is the end of the story story munji poyidha that's the end of the road abina the road gets over you don't have anything you cannot go further okay end then you have to app tap to app tap repeat it to app tap to app tap where you get water you open the tap it is not good to leave it open right you have to close it immediately after the use yes okay good tap then the last word is r an r a n ran r a n ran okay r an ran ran means odinanga ran they were running in example solana the deers ran away seeing the tigers <gasps> yes forest la what happens the tig there are some deers playing around tigers a paathone they run, they run right so the tig the deers ran away seeing the tigers okay we'll we'll just have a quick recap of the words okay we'll revisit the words again what is the first word that i told k i d kid k i d kid h a m ham h a m ham k i t k i t kit t k i t kit r i m rim r i m r i m r i m then you are k a p k a p k a p k a p k a p k a p h n h n k n h n then you have t n t n t n r ed red r e d red then m a p map m a p map e n d end e n d end then you have t a p tap t a p tap then you have r a n ran r a n r a n ran okay so keep practicing this view see this video again and again for you to get a clear idea of blending the words okay 
Now open your workbook today and go to page number 31. Tomorrow's date is 0311 which is nothing but the month of November 11, 2020. Tomorrow do your homework tomorrow. Okay, open your workbook and go to page number 31 and you will have the words that we saw here. The words that we saw on the board today, you will have to trace them and write. It's not only about writing but it's about blending and blending and telling the words, telling out the words loud, blending and reading them loud while tracing them. Okay, and one more thing, are you all able to see the word here? Okay, it's k a. We have not taught you this one. B sound we have not taught you yet. So what you have to do is just ignore it and write p here. Cap. You can use the word cap. Okay? P. Write p here and uh, just cut it and write p here. K. Dear parents, please just add whitener. Just use the whitener to erase the the line that is coming here and please add a dotted line below so that they will be have an idea of p they will be able to trace p p so tomorrow you will open your homework notebook and look out for the page that has the date 03 11 2020 you have to trace and write the words again one time is enough okay writing them one time is enough see I have written cap here, p. Okay? Be clear with this in your assignment book, I mean worksheet. Okay? So now you all have started reading, blending and reading these words. I uh, keep practicing them, it will be easier for you to keep blending and reading them. You will find it very easy to blend and read. Okay? I will see you in another video. Until then, bye bye.